Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Peglin. We're jumping in again and we're going to go again as Crucible 2. I'm enjoying those at the moment. We might up it a little bit as we go forward, but I like that for now. Um, not a great start. I guess I'll just take the extra HP um, of those three. I'm, none of those particularly sparked my interest, but 15 extra HP is of course not bad in any way, shape or form. We had a pretty crazy run last episode. We took some big risks in, uh, in the whole money gambling side of things and it, it somewhat paid off to be honest i know i completely whiffed that but it's completely fine because gonna get some bombs going there beautiful realistically i should try and get myself up to 50 gold before i detonate these bombs but it's not completely up to me um so i'll, I'll try my best to do that but we will see 50 gold is kind of like my my bare minimum Don't know if we're going to get there. Okay, no, we got there. Awesome. 50 gold. Good stuff. Um, Oh, we got the Jackard Lantern. Instead of exiting the pegboard, it will return to the top one time. That seems interesting. We can add that. And I think upgrading it just returns it multiple times. Yeah. And then we'll go here. We'll take the Elite if we can as well. We'll take our Bombs Detonate in one hit. I don't, do I care which one of these I get? I don't care which one of these I get. So let's, uh, ah, I, was, I, I tried my best. Ooh, okay. Uh, yes, we got a Jack Orb up to level three and lost a stone. Very, very good stuff. Um, That's going to be pretty awesome. So unfortunately, we, we did get this mini boss, which is rather tricky. Unfortunately, as well, I managed to detonate two of the bombs, which is kind of unfortunate. I guess I'll just go for the third now. Why not? Um, it at least gets most of the enemies out of the way. But yeah, this this orb, it can fall three times. It doesn't do, a, like, a lot of damage. But I think if we can pair it with other stuff, it might be pretty great. We'll have to see how we can get it to work. Right now, just try and get crits. The refreshes there are good. This guy's probably going to be a little bit of a pain. Another crit there, lovely. Sometimes it's going to do that and just, like, basically fall flat on its face. Your big disgrace. But other times it's going to work really well, so... We just got to see. Yep, so 99 now, HP. Didn't even mean to hit that refresh, but we got it. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Terrible hit. It's going to be a little bit rough. Thank God we got the extra HP, I guess. Yeah, this orb we really need to, to pep up a little bit. Because right now it's not very good. Come on, game. There you go. We got it. Took a bit of doom, but we got there. Okay. Necromancer orb. Can only hit pay, uh, thingies and bombs. They're refreshed. Can target any enemy. Upgrades each peg hit. Eh, yeah, we'll take that. Why not? Upgrade it as well. Persist one and refreshes. Um, I'll go with the persist. It's kind of an interesting idea. Allows us to use the orbs we want to use more often. So I guess that's not terrible. Both the bombs there, that's fine. And then, yeah, we can use, like, this orb more often. But like I said, this orb isn't actually going to be all that great until we get something to pair with it. And not hitting a refresh here is really going to suck. Oh, wait. Complete idiot. Completely forgot it can't. There you go. Good enough. Took a bit of doing, but good enough. Only hits refreshes and bombs pierces through all enemies. Can target any enemy. So pierces through all of us, should I say. Let's take that as well. I'm trying some new stuff. Once again. Trying new things. 
And if I can make some weird builds work. Really, you had to fall there. At least you didn't fall the same way the next time. That would have been very frustrating. Almost got a kill in the first one there. That would be nice. Come on. Hit a refresh at least. Yeah, there you go. That makes me at least a little happy. Okay, I quite like this. It's pretty good. Whereas this doesn't really work in situations where we've just refreshed the board, does it now? Okay, at least we've got that crit. We definitely get this crit. Hey, that was not bad at all for that elite. Not bad at all. Um, Swaltorb is pretty good too. We'll take that. And then which one of these we want to upgrade? So that... We'll go with that because it upgrades. Um, yeah, we'll go with that too. Why not? In particular where I want to go here. This is interesting thus far. No thank you for the plus three stones. Health is looking a little bit weedy. Let's take the extra. That. I'm going to go for a random here and hope for the best. Didn't really go the way I wanted it to, but we've not got health for that anyways. Um, Let the stone one sink, I guess. And then... Uh, this is risky as fuck. Back because I've got very low HP right now. And it's a very bad boss too, god damn it. Well, that was terrible. Okay. I guess we'll see what we can do. Okay, this actually is going reasonably well thus far. The extra bombs are helping. Being able to stack crits with this thing could be pretty good. Yeah, okay, that worked fine. That worked out just fine. I think we need to go for a heal here. Um, and then continue, I think. Every four times the ball is refreshed. Kind of interesting. This is tricky. Uh, I'm going to go for the crits. Go for another chest here. Yeah, Echo 10 is pretty good. Ah, come on. So close every time. Right, the Every 30 pegs being turned to a bomb thing, I think is pretty good. I think that will help us quite a lot. Especially with bombs being instantly detonated too. Fire over this way this time. Hit one of the refreshes maybe. Yes, there you go. Again, that went well. Doctorb, we just take and we upgrade. And honestly, just upgrade it again. Doctorb is now usable for healing. It also has extra persist now, so. Um, pretty bad one to get off the bat here, I guess. But I suppose we can hit a few bombs with it. Yeah, pretty bad odd to get off the bat there. Not terrible damage, to be honest. Not great, but the bombs definitely help more than anything else. Nineteen. 
29. 14. Good healing across the board there. Trying to hit the refreshes here, but it's going to be an absolute pain. Unfortunately, we are going to lose quite a lot of HP here, but we should get a kill pretty quickly. There you go. And then upgrade-wise, we'll take you and you. All pegs have durable is always fun. No discard sounds horrible. Magnetize is kind of good. I'm going to go for the durable. It's a weird build. Durable also helps with the uh, so-and-so amount of things are turned into a bomb. Also, does it work? It does work with this too. Nice. Okay. You can upgrade one peg multiple times. That's what I was hoping for. Yeah. This makes things a lot better for us. Shop, I think we can get a removal here for 30. That we can. Remove a stone. Awesome. Quick and easy. Extra bomb damage. Don't really care which way I go here, I don't think. No, I don't care at all. That ah, literally completely missed all of those bombs, lovely. Why do we keep starting with this orb? This is just such an awful orb to start with. Don't give me that early. Devious bastard. This is good stuff. The extra bombs it creates are just good for keeping it in the in play, keeping it in the loop. Get that bad boy upgraded. Okay, good stuff so far. This this apart from the the dude, stop giving me this first, you dick. At least I can get some bombs, I guess. It's very annoying to get this first though. I suppose for that reason it's pretty good, I guess. Well, this is good for the, like, the piercing that it gains. Oh my lord. Whoa. What the hell happened there? I'm unsure. I'm confused, but very happy. Okay. Onto the elite. Can't remember what this elite does. damage isn't great. This orb's a little hard to use, I'll be honest, but it's it's fine. Okay, this orb is going to slap with the uh, durable thing going on. It's going to do really, really, really well. So much potential damage coming out of this. The amount of bombs it can create and stuff. Bombs doing extra damage on top of all of this. And it just kind of keeps going. Especially if we get this out, Swalt Orb first, and get some upgraded pegs. Very good stuff here. Very good stuff. A lot for each bomb detonated this battle. I've never used this before, so it's yet another one that I'm going to give a go of. Let's see what it does at full kilter. Plus one for each bomb detonated, plus two for each red bomb detonated, and self um, self damage from red bombs is reduced. Pretty good. Probably early enough to make that worthwhile. Lovely. Do want to go for the elite here if we can. Thank you. I will try to go for the elite, but God knows how well this is going to work. Okay, it did. Hello again. So, so far, this thing's worthless right now, right? But if we detonate a bomb, that did not go well. 
Come far, far. That's pretty good. It gets better the more bombs we get in it. So now it's 7-7. Seven, seven. But it itself can generate bombs that it in turn detonates. So uh, it's now 9-9. Nine, nine. Okay, that thing's pretty good. I can see that thing being very, very good. Um, probably take this. Doesn't really matter which way we go here. I think I'll just go straight for the middle, to be honest. Additional crit, thank you. Didn't mean to do that, but we went for the middle anyways. Thanks, game. Make me dash through the goddamn flames. Oh, th th what? This... How is this orb just... How does it keep being the first thing? Okay, we managed to hit a lot of bombs there. That was good. And we are fully healed off that. This thing's on 9-9 already. This orb's gonna get wacky. I wonder if 9-9's the max it can go. Okay, it does look like 9-9's the max it can go. Which is fair. It would, be, it would be really insane if it went any higher than that. I could take another one, but I think we're okay. Bombs steal an extra 15 damage. This is this is very good. Our bombs are our bombs are pretty crazy right now. And this boss is going to get de just demolished. I honestly think we just take this. And it's just going to detonate bombs as it goes. Okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't retroactively upgrade. Uh, but the next the next time we throw it, it will. So, I thought it'd upgrade during, but there you go. Up to 9-9 nine, nine now. Cool 1,300 and something, plus the bomb damage pretty quickly. Trying to go for a refresh there, but it didn't really work. Just hit one of the refreshes, God damn it! I mean, not that it's going to matter here, but still. Now, this is where this orb comes into play. Look at this. That one's got plus 12 on it. Well, he was easy. Um, I think this is pretty good for us right now. It makes certain things like do no damage to start with, but I think it could get pretty wild. Like... In this situation, this isn't going to be very good to start with, but it's going to get real good. Yeah, this this is this is kind of wild with this orb. This is exactly what I was hoping for. And it just it just keeps scaling and getting wilder and wilder each time it falls. That's pretty beautiful. I like that a lot. I think we have a good setup to win here. Right, so pierces through all others. It can hit bombs and crits and all that sort of good stuff. There's half damage because it's not direct. That just upgrades so many pegs now. Beautiful. What do you offer me? Nothing you can offer me. How dare you. At the minute, we're just kind of looking for a shop, really, because we've got so much to spend. And there's one just down this way. Yeah, so this orb, this orb again, isn't great for us. Just because of how it works. But it can sometimes do that and basically upgrade the entire, orb, uh, the entire board by two. Which is pretty damn good.
Beautiful. And you are dead as well. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. We want to be going this way if we can. Okay, lovely. Actually, it didn't really matter which way we went there. My bad. Again, this orb will do nothing to start with, but actually it won't do nothing now because now it upgrades pegs as it goes, so... And now it's up to 2-1, apparently. Okay, gotta wait for this to whole this whole thing to pan out. This is crazy. An orb that does basically no damage has racked up a thousand damage easily. Oh wait, it did it did gain it all there. It went to 1918 there. Holy shit. Oh shit, also, I completely forgot we have echo damage playing into all of this. 550 echo damage there. I completely forgot about that. It's one of the reasons we're going so wacky here. Don't you dare. Don't you dare screw me here, game. Oh, for fuck's sake. How dare you? Wow, that was a just amazing hit by me there. Managed to gain quite a lot of max HP, you know. Getting one for every enemy I kill. It's doing us reasonably well right now. Boom. We do have one of these bad boys, which I don't know if that does anything good for us, to be honest, though. Oh, actually, do you know what? No, this is pretty good. I'm going to take it. Because it'll uh, upgrade the pegs a bunch of times, right? I don't really know where I'm going here. I think that could be pretty good. Yeah, like, if I fire this, yeah. It puts everything to a plus eight immediately. Pretty good. It is heavy, though, so it falls pretty quick. But making everything a plus eight off the bat... Seems pretty good to me. Fortunately, all of our refreshes are all the way over there, but it doesn't matter. It's going to fall on the fire a lot here, isn't it? Okay, no. The game was kind. Be up to plus six there. Nice. Getting a refresh in the middle of one of these just... Yeah, the damage gets absurd. And then it just keeps doing the same again. We got a plus 24 down there. Wow. This is why, like, with this set of the Echo is so important. Because this damage just keeps carrying through. Amazing. Outstanding. Unrivaled damage. Um, I think I want to go right here, just to make sure I can get to the shop. Plus five off the bat there. Plus 20 there already. Good amount of damage. Oh, he got completely stuck there. What the hell? A bit rude. Even this can do damage, look. I mean, it heals, it just heals us for 500. I quite like that. Oh my lord. That one stacks up like crazy. I like that. Okay, shop. I have a lot of money to spend at you. Please have something good. Um. I guess. 
I guess, I guess. I guess. And I guess. Cool. <laughs> Good enough. Heal here. We need a lot of bombs for this, I think. Oh my god, just look at all the numbers. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? It's going crazy. We're not going to have to kill all these little goobers, but we got them. Two additional refreshes. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Upgrade an orb, remove an orb. I guess I'll just remove my dag orb because I don't need it. God damn, look at all these plus eights. Plus 18 down there. You are dead. Is this same du goddamn dude again? Oh my god. This is where the echo damage is going to get wild. Unfortunately, this isn't really the greatest thing for us right now. Neither is this orb. We should have a bunch of bombs. Get it going for us. My god. If only we could have this much HP. Imagine if there was like an overheat mechanic. That one's up to plus 37. Wow. <laughs> um, I guess I guess the bomb blindness is actually pretty good in this situation. And onto the boss, which should be kind of a piece of piss. Well, that's like all the bombs already. We just detonated 15 bombs in one go. Don't want to use that yet. That didn't go super well. Try again, though. Don't just make the same mistake all three times, please. But it's going to. Sadly, no crit in there. I was hoping for. Oh, that wasn't too bad, especially the bombs. And this is the one that really does the good stuff, but unfortunately, because it's so heavy, it won't like, be around for long. But the damage is pretty hefty. Okay. I mean, I'm aiming pretty well with this orb, to be honest. Getting it kind of stuck in there. And there you go. Just a one remains now. And you are up to 37. 35. Wowee. <laughs> I hit like four pegs. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. A very, very fun run indeed. And all of you orbs tried. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.